Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Nash from Tesla and the Gong. In this video, we're going to show you how to install a yoke steering wheel in your Tesla Model 3 and Model Y. In my case, I'm going to have it installed in my friend's Model Y. But I'm also going to show you what I have installed in my own Tesla Model Y performance. And then we'll show you how to do this in a step-by-step -step fashion. And I'll also answer some of the questions that you may ask. Without further ado, let's do this. Now, first things first, there are a couple of questions that everybody asks. One, how difficult is it to install? In this case, I'm going to say that install is about 7 on 10. So it's not a super easy install, but I'm going to show you a complete, easy to follow step-by-step -step instruction guide and as to how to install this yoke steering wheel from Hanshaw. I'm going to leave the link to Hanshaw's steering wheel in the description of this video, as well as as a pinned comment. You can also use the code TESLAGONG to buy it to get some discounts from Hanshaw. Now, the second question I get always asked is, is it uh, voiding your warranty? Now, I have uh, in the past not been very sure about this, but then when I went to my insurance company and I told them I'm going to install a yoke steering wheel, they said, no worries, we shall cover that. And so if your insurance company covers it, there is no problems with this yoke. It does not void the warranty. The second important thing is there is, I believe, no real problem with installing a yoke because the centimeter count is the most important thing when it comes to uh, steering wheels here in Australia. So it is OK. If others have other information which is concrete, please leave your thoughts in the comments below. But as far as I know, when I went to my insurance, they were said, no worries, we will cover it. So if your insurance is happy to cover your yoke steering wheel, so it's not a problem for you either. So that is, those are the two important questions that I always get asked. Now, how is it to drive? That's the third important question I get asked. It is a little bit uh, of getting used to, to be honest. It takes about uh, maybe a week before you get completely used to it because we're always used to the top circle, you see. So sometimes it is a little difficult to not use it. But once you get used to it, I don't think you'll go back and I'm not going to go back at all. Now, I, I first installed this in my Model 3 long range in 2019. And I only installed it for one week and I wanted to remove that. Then after some time, I, I, I really got to love it and it never went back to my circular steering wheel. I only installed it as a experimental thingy, but then I loved it. So I didn't go back. So maybe you will like it. Give it a shot and then see how this goes. Now, because this is a 7 on 10 install, you may need help from someone to install it for you. Or maybe you'd not relish doing this yourself and you need someone always get an expert to help you to install this if you're not happy doing it yourself. Uh, in Sydney, I, of course, use Jerry of uh, Sydney Hybrid and Electric Vehicles. Uh, I'm going to leave all his um, details in the screen as well as in the description of this video. So do check him out. He is a super cool guy, meticulous work and clean work as well, as you will see in this video too. So let's see how we can install this. And I've deliberately kept this as a slow step-by-step -step instruction so that you can follow it in an even fashion. And Jerry is helping me install this in my friend's Model Y. And this is a white version as well. Now, uh, you can go directly to the end of this video if you do not want to see the step-by-step -step, uh, to see how they look in a white interior car with a white uh, steering wheel that is at the end of this video. So you can skip to that. I'm also going to now show you how my install looks before we go into the actual install. Radio. In my case, I chose the black version with these carbon fiber accents. They look quite gorgeous. You can see that you can have carbon fiber accents on the side as well. And this really complements the entire look and design language of the car because this uh, leather will complement the leather color over here and that all marries the entire design language. And that's why I liked it. And because mine is a red multi-coat paint, model by performance, I wanted to add these extra accents to sort of spice it up. I'm going to add a few other accents here and here as well. Other videos are coming up very soon. And that is why I chose this. Of course, this is all customizable on Hanshaw's website. I'll leave the link below in the description of this video. Now let's look at the install. Hi, here at Sydney Hybrid Electric Cars. We're going to be fitting a uh, steering yoke to this Model Y. Uh, whenever we work on airbags, we like to disconnect the voltage so there's no accidental deployment of the airbag. 
So with that we're going to remove the front cover here and get to the 16 volt lithium ion battery. 16 MB. Disconnect our switch. Yep, unclip the front button, just slide it out. Undo the four bolts for your front. And we've also got a clip to remove here for the washer bottle. Okay, small clip there, okay. And the front, our front's now ready to remove. I'll always clip this up around here so I can access it again when we put it back. Okay, yeah. Now we need to undo the cabin filters. These are your HEPA and carbon filters. A total of four filters all together in your uh -huh. new model wise. There's four panels in this cabin filters. Right. Two 10 mils are out and the filter box assembly removed. Yep. Good enough. So the new 16 volt batteries on all new model Teslas. Okay. Got to lift and remove the green lock tab and slide back. Nice. Lift and lift off so the that's voltage. That's, 16 volt. that's now 16 volts. Nice. Now the second part is we've got to disconnect the high voltage system. Yeah, the new section is just fitted in with no clips and right in here we've got to undo the grey lock tab okay. and fold down the lock and disconnect the high voltage disconnect plug. Right here, so I do have a separate video for that as well, if somebody wants to do that, step-by-step uh, I, I step instructions there in my video too, that's all good. So the car is now safe. This part can be very tricky, trying to undo the lock springs for your airbag module. Is it like an Allen key there? It's not an Allen key, it's a spring loader clips. Um, it's very hard to describe. Okay, and it can be go. very difficult to undo sometimes. Uh -huh. So there's two holes, mm -hmm. they're spring-loaded, and you push them, and that unclips the airbags over here. Mm. Got right. that. There you go. Hey, easier said than done, I can tell you that. That's <laughs> true. Okay. There's no more, um, yeah, this one here, yeah. it's now black. Oh, it's not become black, is it? Okay, it used to be purple before. Yeah. Oh, sorry, it is purple. It is still purple, eh? Mm. Awesome. <laughs> uh, in the meantime, let me get to this one. This is your heater plug. Okay, for this is a plug that I've not seen in my Heated car. steering wheel. Yeah, for the heated steering wheel, there's an extra plug. So in the previous video that I did, uh, for the Model 3 yoke conversion, mine did not have a heated steering wheel, but this one has, so that's pretty cool. That's come out. Just one more to go. So there's one more plug there. What is that for? Um, it's got to do with the airbag, part of the airbag system. Right, yo. Be another sensor for a pressure sensor of some sort, I'd say. Okay, I didn't have that in my other car. No, it's all, mod it's all new. So all the newer models have got this. Nice. There you go. Okay. All right, well done. That goes there. I just have a quick look through this. There we go. Nice. Okay, now mm -hmm. make sure the steering is quickest way to remove it here in the workshop. Absolutely. A 10 mil hex nut. Okay, that's a 10 mil hex nut. That's, oh, that's quick work. It took me an hour to get that out. Otherwise, it would be very, very troublesome. It certainly is. To remove them. That is quick work indeed. It took me an hour to get that out for, for my previous install. As a point of reference, I always like to mark my steering wheels. There's a master mark that I mark. 
and then mark the original steering wheel in case and where it came off. Just for a good point of reference in case we need to refer to it. Awesome. Now we're ready to remove it. That banging is uh, helpful to vibrate the steering off the splines. And that's awesome. It actually now, sounded like uh, Space Odyssey yeah. 2001. <laughs> Never touch the clock spring now. Yeah. If you move that clock spring and put it in the wrong position, it will tear the ribbons because the ribbons can only turn so many circles. If you turn and look to that, <clears throat> you'll end up destroying the clock spring. Radio. Okay. It's an expensive problem. Good. Good tip. It's got to be removed. Yes, yeah, so this is the original steering wheel. Yeah. Yeah, remove all those wire, wire harnesses and then transfer, transfer on to, to the new yoke. So he's going in for the white yoke with carbon fiber finish. Pretty gorgeous, this one. Okay. Just want to always work carefully and cautiously with trim work, mm -hmm. not to use power tools. Could end up uh, damaging things you didn't want to. True that. Trusted spudger. Hey. A trusted plastic spudger. Yes. It's the hard assist the first bit to get mm. off. Got to get a good grip on it and see if you can leverage off it. Okay, we'll try assembly here. Nice. Okay, that's come undone. Very good. Patience every time. Mm hmm. And then one more earth strap to undo here. Okay. Now we have the whole snuff, wine house, and the module. Yep. It's got to be replaced and transferred to the new yoke. Yeah, okay, and we've got to just unplug this as well now. Correct. Right here. Oops, I'll put that aside for mm -hmm. now. four screws that hold down the main bracket. Mm -hmm.
Okay. So we go here. Try and lift it up. First step is always the most difficult step, hey? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, it's new and tight, so. Yeah. So I can help a little bit. The giant spudger. Okay. There we go. That's better. Mm -hmm. Steam on the side there. And if you put the two main units together, there you go. We don't need to touch those. They'll plug and play. Okay. There's a the harness we're going to do, and we actually got to take this module out and transfer it to here. Great. Let's do that. There's my screw on. It's nice and tight. There we go. Okay, that's that. Let's go to there. And just the module now. Into there. Yep. So, just put the tool for that. Oops. so just to unscrew these two and then transfer this module onto this. Yep. Now the size for these screws was a silly size. Okay. What is it a T8? That's what it is. T8. T8 screws. Okay. Okay. That completes the transplant. Nice. Now we can fit up our module. Clips in at the bottom, fits back in the same position as original. And secure those T8s down and secure that module. That's it. We're nearly done. There, happy with that. Perfect. Simply reconnect the original harness, so now you've got your new module or the transplant module from the original. Perfect. There. Over with your switch. Controllers all fit in. Now we're ready to fit, bring back to the new yoke. There we go. And this is a snap on, isn't it? Yes, needs to be snapped in through the legs here. Mm -hmm. There's several of them. 
They can be troublesome as well. Yeah. They don't always just fit right away. Uh, do need a bit of coating. That's true. Make sure the harnesses are in the right position behind the mounting legs. And gradually start pressing the mold back into position. Making sure always that your harnesses are in the right orientation. Okay. Always try to fit the harness the same way that the original factory Tesla yep. fitted them. There you go, snap, snap, snap. Snap. Oh, nice. Making sure your harness is not caught. Everything's correct where it should be. Got the earth wire there, the heater circuit. All good. Snapping maybe this way as well, hey? Sorry? So everything's nice and snapped on? Correct, yes. Um, this is your header circuit, your header steering. Let's see which one of this fits. There we go. That's the heated circuit That's there. That's the heater circuit. Perfect. Just clear everything's down. There'll be a one bracket piece that just the make and yep. fit into this hole. Not restore it like the original. Right. Perfect, the cable tie. Yeah, that's a factory one. Mm -hmm. No need for that. Goes there, and goes there, and you'll put the earth circuit in. Be absolutely certain that the earth is secure. This one looked all right, but it's not. Always check that the earth is locked in. Okay, now it is. Now we can secure that on the mainframe. Using the original screws as well, eh? Oh, they're both the same. Okay. They're a machine thread. Hmm. That's that. Completed okay. circuit. So all the transfer is done now. Mm -hmm. Now we're ready to go. Ready to fit it. I'm just going to check with the light. We're just going to nip it up with a rattle gun. Yep. And then we'll tinker and match it. That's all. Now we'll get a tension wrench. Mm That's the tension wedge, eh? That's the tension wedge. And, and what is the tension that we need to apply to? About 80 pounds. 80 pounds. Good for your right tip. Okay. 
There you go. Okay, it's nice and firm. I'll come off now. Okay. So, so this new plug we've got to refit. Yeah. Must be a pressure sensor of types for the airbag system here. So on pin plug, single wire. Okay, that's in. And now for the airbag. Airbag yellow connector. That's that. Check all the wires. Make sure you use that way. Snap, snap, snap. One function and spring. Yep. Looking good. One beautiful white leather, hand show, carbon fiber steel. Brilliant upgrade. Looks great. Gorgeous indeed. Very comfortable drive. Yeah. Just need a little getting used to on the parking, but within a week, I find customers generally like it quite a lot. I agree. So now we'll power up the car again. New Teslas will be coming out as a 48 volt system. So if you've got your 12 volt accessories, we don't know whether Tesla's going to transform the 12 volt accessory plugs, or if they make 48 for the car, into 12 volt for accessories. If not, <laughs> don't plug 12 volt accessories into your 48 volt plugs. Coming to your new Tesla. Yeah, the Austin Teslas are all 48 volts now. Yep, so the whole fleet will get 48 volts. That will be the new architecture. So connect up your battery again, slide your lock in, and push down your pin. Yep. And you connect it to the 12 volt system, which is 16 volts now. Yep. So there we go, we have Praveen getting into the car. What do you think? It's uh, excellent. Looks uh, looks perfect. I might have to uh, adjust the, the steering wheels uh, a bit later, but so just adjust the height a little bit to your liking. But I'm, yeah. it's yeah. absolutely a gorgeous but, uh, upgrade. It looks amazing. Yeah, the color and everything matches the. I mean, it's almost the same, isn't it? Yeah, this is it's exactly the same. The the, the shades are all matched. Mm. This is carbon fiber. This one will match that, so it's all all matched and it looks absolutely stunningly gorgeous. Ready to rock and roll. Absolutely. One thing left to do, just put back the front and we're good to go. Yeah. There you go guys, that is the yoke steering wheel upgrade for our Tesla Model Y. Now so much has changed from the Tesla Model 3 times, so if this is something that you don't enjoy doing by yourself, always look up Jerry. I'm going to leave his details, the link uh, in the description of this video, as well as in the bottom half of the screen. Look him up. He's really awesome. I'm getting all of my upgrades done through Jerry. Uh, this is a shout out to him, mate. Thank you very much, Jerry. Thanks, mate. Go, Jerry. Yay. I'll see you guys in another interesting video very soon. Until then, this is Nash from Tesla and the Gong. If you like what I'm doing, uh, click on the subscription button. It'll be great. And also click on that like button too. If you do want to buy a Tesla of your own, do use a referral code. You can use anybody's referral code. If you, want to, if you want to reward me, if you can use my referral code, I'd be absolutely humbled. I'll see you guys in another interesting video very soon. Until then, this is Nash from Tesla and the Gong signing off. Peace.